Making the most delicious burrito is easier than you think. Follow along and I'm sure you're gonna earn the bragging rights on making the best burrito supremo. Start by dicing half of a medium yellow onion. Let's do this fast because those tears are coming. This onion is gonna go into a cilantro lime rice that is citrusy, fresh, and super delicious. Measure out one cup of long grain rice. Rinse the rice until the water comes out clear in order to remove the excess starch. Place a medium sized pot over medium high heat and add about two tablespoons of a smooth olive oil. Add the rice and the diced onion. Stir that around, saute them for about three minutes. Those aromas are a great indicator on how all of the flavors are evolving throughout the cooking process. All right, add in one and a half cups of water and also one teaspoon of kosher salt. Stir that around and as soon as that reaches a boil, lower that to medium low. That way it comes down to a gentle simmer. Cover the pot and let it cook until the rice is tender but not mushy. Meanwhile, let's do some prep. Dice half of a medium yellow onion and mince three garlic cloves. When cooking rice, the recommended ratio is one cup rice to two cups water, but occasionally I add less water to prevent overcooking and add the remainder if needed. In this case, I do need the additional half a cup of water Cover again and let it keep cooking. Place a separate large pan over medium heat. Pour about three tablespoons of a smooth olive oil. Once hot, add in the onions and saute until golden brown for a caramelized slight sweetness. The rice is done, all the water has evaporated and the grains are tender. Remove from the heat, but keep it covered. Back to the onions, they look great. Stir in the garlic, saute for a couple of minutes to release those nutty tones we all love. Then pour three cups of cooked beans. I'm using black because that's what I have on hand, but you can use pinto as well. Make sure you include some of the liquid they were cooked in. Stir to combine and let them cook until the liquid thickens and coats the beans. Lastly, mix in salt to taste. Turn off the heat, set them aside covered until needed. Let's make a chipotle sauce that is creamy, smoky, and with a kick of heat. The perfect addition for this burrito. In a blender, add in one cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of mayo, two chipotles in adobo sauce. This is where our smoky flavor is coming from. One whole peeled garlic clove, one teaspoon of kosher salt or to taste. Squeeze in the juice of half a lime, which is about one tablespoon. Cover it and blend until this is completely smooth. Cover it and place it in the fridge, which is also gonna help it set up a bit more. It is protein time and we're gonna make some awesome ground beef seasoned perfectly. Place a large pan over medium high heat. Add a couple of tablespoons of the same oil we've been using. Just let that heat up. Add one pound of ground beef and quickly press it down with a potato masher. Allow the bottom to brown. That's how we're gonna develop the flavor. This smells wonderful. Break it apart and look at that browning developed at the bottom. Look at that. That's what I call flavor. Season this with two teaspoons of ancho chile powder two teaspoons of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and salt to taste. I'll be doing one teaspoon of kosher salt. Quickly mix that in. Make sure everything is well distributed. Look at that color. Saute this until the meat is fully cooked and then add one cup of low sodium beef broth. It is gonna deglaze the bottom and also give us that extra dose of moisture. Allow it to cook until almost all of the liquid has reduced and the meat is nice and moist. Turn off the heat and make sure to keep it covered. Let's finish up the rice. Fluff it up. Just be careful not to break the grains. Zest one lime right over it and squeeze the juice into the rice as well. It's about two tablespoons. Add in half a cup of finely chopped cilantro and stir everything to combine. It is looking gorgeous. 
also make a pico de gallo. You can find the recipe on my website, villacocina.com. I added avocado to this one. The time has come, let's make burritos. Heat an extra large flour tortilla. This one's huge. So I'll place it in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for a few seconds, just until it becomes pliable. If the tortillas you're using are smaller, heat them up over a comal. Arrange the filling in the center, starting with the rice, then the beans, meat, pico de gallo, shredded Oaxaca cheese, or you can use mozzarella as well, shredded iceberg lettuce, and drizzle the creamy chipotle sauce. Leave the ends, top, and bottom uncovered. Fold the ends inward to make sure the filling does not fall out. They shouldn't touch each other. Fold the bottom flap over the filling and carefully tuck to tighten it. Be gentle. Fold any extra tortilla on both sides inward so they are in line with the burrito ends. Continue rolling until you reach the end of the tortilla and you end up with a broken burrito. Oh no, my ego took a hit. <laughs> There's a small tear. It's not an issue, but let's make another one. This one looks perfect. I just try not to get carried away with the feeling because it can happen. I get really greedy. <laughs> Cut in half and reveal why this burrito is very much supremo. Look at that. This chipotle sauce is so good. I like to serve some on the side. Also, feel free to turn this into a burrito bowl with a bed of lettuce as your base. I find this option perfect for me and has all of the flavors we love in a burrito. Yay! Look at the size of this tortilla. Hey, I was lucky enough because I had never seen this size tortilla around. Okay, let's do this. Mm. Love the creaminess from the avocado, sweetness from the onion, nutty flavor from the garlic. I made me this big bowl and I'm gonna finish it. I guarantee you. Mm. So good. Let me show you guys what a real burrito looks like. Un burrito. <laughs> this right here hit my ego. My ego. <laughs> Don't play with food. You know, some of our viewers wish they could have that burrito. Your silliness just came out. How? How? Here, how about it? <laughs> I really hope that you try this recipe at home. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. Remember that the full printable recipe is available on villacocina.com. Like this video and until the next one, bye. <laughs>